bring in the spirit of Christmas is by all of us singing together. Let us all sing. Come on, let all have to join in. All have to come together. becomes glittering and glowing with lights and what all. And despite all that last does, sometimes I get this feeling, what I feel sad about is the true spirit of Christmas seems to be getting diluted. Right? What is the true spirit of Christmas? Giving. Giving? Sharing? Sharing? Wonderful. Anything else? Spreading cheer? That's great. Isn't it all about love and compassion for humanity? Yes. Right? Yes. That's exactly the spirit that has inspired the mission of Toastmasters. What's the mission of Toastmasters? Come on Toastmasters, rack your brains. With all the fun and all you've forgotten, <laughs> Toastmaster. Leaders are made. Sorry? Leaders are made. Leaders are made. Yeah, that's the tagline of Toastmasters. But the mission? To help. To help people improve their communication skills. Okay. But there is a specific mission. It is to make effective oral communication a worldwide reality. Right? What is it? To make effective oral communication a worldwide reality. Right? And the pioneer, the great visionary, was none other than Dr. Ralph C. Smedley, who today is a Santa Smedley. Right? And Santa Smedley has given us such an invaluable gift in the form of Toastmasters. And what's special about this gift is that it is a gift for lifetime. Do you all agree or not? Yes. yes. That's it. And just as Christ was born in very humble surroundings, he had a very humble beginning, Toastmasters too had very, very humble beginnings. It all started way back in 1924. Can you imagine? Toastmasters is 90 years old, like Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah? And it started in a basement in the YMCA of, at Santa Ana, California. 
And Santa Smedley was then the director of the youth services and he felt, what he noticed was that the youth of those days lacked confidence and they lacked self-esteem. And he also found that people after dinner speeches lacked that punch. They were not able to speak. That's how it's called Toastmasters. Right? That's how. For the whining and dining, that connection ended there itself. It's no longer about whining and dining, which is the wrong, mis uh, wrong misconception that people have about Toastmasters. And then, what began in a very humble way is today a worldwide reality. It has touched over 4 million people across the world. We have almost uh, 3 lakhs 13,000 members from 14,650 clubs across 126 countries. And Bangalore Toastmasters is one such club. We have the distinction of being the President's Distinguished Club. We were at one time one of the largest, among the largest, but I think that's the next committee has to work on it, get back the numbers, right? And uh, it is. it also believes that no matter how humble your origins are, all of us can rise to great levels, right? So don't feel, I come from a rural background, how can I become a good speaker? Nothing. If you are determined, you can. You can become an excellent speaker and a leader too. And Toastmasters is all about good speaking skills and leadership skills as well. In fact, it's a triple benefit. The gift that we get got from Santa, uh, Santa Smedley is that we've got three skills. The speaking skills, the, list, the thinking skills, and the listening skills. Now, why is it that we all have a great affinity? Clubs across the world. The moment we see a Toastmaster, no? we're so excited to meet. What is it that binds all of us together? Is the format of the club. And that's how we have three sessions. The uh, prepared speech session, where people come and prepare from their manuals. All of us have manuals and as per the guidelines, we prepare in that. And then we have the table topics. So the first session sharpens our speaking skill. And the second one, it sharpens our thinking skill. That's the table topics. I'll explain about it later when we have that session. And lastly, we have the general evaluation. Do you see any connection? Jesus got three gifts. We're also getting three gifts, right? Any of you know what are those three gifts that Jesus got? Frankincense. Frankincense. Very good. Myrrh. Yeah. And gold. And I'll tell you how these gifts are connected to Toastmasters. Now the third session is unique to Toastmasters. That is called the evaluation session. And let me tell you, evaluation is what really transforms us as a person. As a person. It changes the attitude. We start looking at things differently. And everything becomes so nice. Now the evaluation of this session has already started. And for that, we have a very popular Toastmaster. Santa Claus is popular. Even this person is equally or if not more popular in Toastmasters. And you know why he is popular? Because he's a great speaker with great humor who can leave the, keep the audience in splits. He's an ace table topic speaker who can turn your uh, topic anyway. Yeah? You'll be surprised, amazed because that's thanks to his fluency of the language. He can twist and turn words and you'll be amazed he leave you absolutely dazed. And evaluation too is a great forte of his. Right? It can be incisive, it can be insightful, he can take you to the heavens and then he can be extremely critical 
but all to help us. Today's general evaluator is, he is someone who can, who spreads happiness wherever he goes and he's also someone who conquers your heart. So let us put together, I mean let's put together our hands to welcome the general evaluator for the day, the lively, the charismatic and the bubbly Vijay Anand.